Okay, this is going to be uh, part two of the uh, TV broadcast special because there's been a lot of things coming out in that um, topic. And this has to do with the uh, live stream server uh, service, which is a popular video streaming site where anybody can join and make their own show or broadcast. And um, they, they've uh, actually came out, which is known as the uh, live stream broadcaster. And what it allows you to do is to live stream, uh, hooking it up to a HDMI camcorder. And uh, it's going to allow you to stream by uh, Wi-Fi uh, or 3G or 4G to his Ustream servers. And obviously, if you're using camcorder, you can record to the camcorder itself while you're live broadcasting. Now, interestingly enough, um, there's a, uh, another product that came out uh, a couple of years ago. It's called the TerraCube. And... Uh, which also uses the live stream service and it pretty much does the same thing. And we're actually going to cover that a little bit later. And uh, now, as far as uh, ports, it kind of features an uh, HDMI input from a uh, camcorder camera. Uh, it does 1080p and 720p recordings. I think it also does uh, 480i standard definition. It has a built-in real-time H.264 hardware encoder so you can um, it takes away from having uh, the processor having to do it uh, or by software uh, that's up to 2.3 megabits per second and it also has a built-in uh, Wi-Fi uh, excuse me a uh, built-in Ethernet port so if you want to directly hook it up to a, a router or a modem and it can use that as a hardware encoder, encoder as well. And this is going to be a price point at about um, $495. It's very affordable. Uh, and then, of course, if you compare it with the TerraCube, that starts at the very basic um, $1,400 and up. So I think it's great seeing more and more options for live broadcast uh, cast streamers, such as myself. Unfortunately, I can't stream live. Um, I have to record um, using camcorders and mics and stuff and then show it back uh, during my live show and then I upload it to YouTube. Now keep in mind that if you're going to use live stream, it's going to cost you an additional $45 a month unlimited broadcasting. I'm sure they have different packages as well. Now if you want to use the 3G and 4G service, that's going to uh, be an additional cost depending on which IP uh, service uh, you're going to get with that um, USB 2 dongle, for instance, AT&T or T-Mobile or whatever. So, uh, yeah, definitely keep that in mind. And uh, there's actually a new camcorder uh, just released for NEB um, 2012 of this year. It's called the HM650 Mobile News Camera. Now, it's quite a bit different than other camcorders because um, just earlier I kind of gave you an example where you can use those two different devices like the uh, live stream broadcaster to hook up to any HDMI camcorder. Well, this camcorder has built-in Wi-Fi. Uh, obviously, that's going to let you um, uh, ab the ability to record and transmit footage back to a newsroom for editing and broadcast from there. And uh, now... Um, along with the built-in Wi-Fi connectivity, um, it also has a F a FTP service support. Now, this is really made for TV and news stations, so um, the price points can be pretty expensive, uh, $4,695. And I'm not really going to go over the um, different specs of that camera there's just too many to name um, I know it's got three sensors on it and a bunch of other things you can look that up online but I figure I just add um, now it seems um, they're adding uh, a lot of support for things like that Wi-Fi and 3 and 4G LTEs and uh, very interesting